So guys, let's start by creating the IK rigs so that we can retarget the ALS animation. For that, I create a new folder in Advanced Locomotion version 4 and rigs and do a right click animation IK rig and we use the many, not many, it's mannequin from ALS. It's the second one, this one, and say IK underscore ALS many mannequin mannequin rig save everything and how we can get it working quite quickly is the following if we open it up move it to the left and here we do this for the right side and go to content wait oh let me make it full screen again characters content characters Mannequin UE4, rigs, and open this one. So we need to add a solver, full body IK, like we have here. We will use the basically the same settings. That's currently still a manual manual process, but I will yeah improve this in the next version. Set retarget root. And we also set set root bone on selected solver and we click on add. Select, uh, add settings to select the bone for spine one as well, for spine two, for spine three, and then we move over the settings. So here you can see if something is changed with this icon here. So rotation stiffness should be one, and also this one should be the same value. So you can later reuse this IK chain settings if you want to retarget animations back from yeah from Twin Blast to this UE4 many. That's why we set this up. Maybe you will you want to use them so that we have them all. So here clavicle we do as well. Clavicle settings is also this one changed. I changed. And the lower arm. So here lower arm, we say use preferred angles and we send it here 90 degrees. And for the hand stuff, new IK goal. Let's check if we have IK goal settings. Yes, we have pull chain. Alpha is zero. The rest is perfectly fine. Um, so we go to the clavicle on the right side, same here, add settings to the bone. We check that we have the same settings. So yeah, that's a very boring task, but yeah, we do it only once. So lower arm, add settings, lower arm, yes, use preferred angle as well, 90 degrees. So we will cover maybe the settings in another video what they are doing. I'm not sure yet why we need them, but let's use the same settings to make sure that it works as expected. So it might also depend on the source rig. So, and we need also to work on the thick bone. Let's see here we add settings, the calf left settings, and we check that we are using the same stuff. So here also use preferred angles minus 90 degrees calf so it's also use preferred angles and 90 degrees and for the foot left so we need to introduce here a goal on the ball bone ball left mu ik goal and we need to rename it rename it and say foot So here we are using default settings, which is perfectly fine. Add settings, select the bone, and we need to add the calf R as well. So here I think we have the same settings like on the left side. Yes, use preferred angles, minus 90 degrees. Calf right side, use preferred angles, 90 degrees. So IK goal, new IK goal. And we need to check if it is the correct one and we need to rename it. 
otherwise we cannot reuse our ball chains in a second so foot so how do we get the bone chains normally you have to add them manually and that's a super painful task which you will not do we will use the tools so here you can do a right click and say scripted asset actions called character tools and we dump the IK chains so and then you see on the lock that you will have those settings here I'm reading this message here so maybe we will have some issues I'm not sure yet just ignore them for now and at first we need to set up the, the chains so and what I do is go to the root folder basically if we make this bigger root folder and let make it let's make it full screen so we close them both ones twin plus as well and we create a new folder and say here on the root and say data and here we go to miscellaneous data table and say born st underscore ttik bone chains that's the struct we want to use and we say dt underscore my bone chains so we open it up and then we have a new data table and we say add say ls many right and we do a right click paste and then we have the bone chains here what were set up in the ik rig from from epic and if we do here a right click and say scripted asset actions character tools add ik chains from data table we can say here my bone chains right and use the row click on okay and as you see so we have the bone chains again but we want to rework them a little bit we don't want to use the default stuff so we need to rework them and what we will ignore here in the bone chain is the following the left I, the left foot ik because it will not work anyways so that's why we need to remove them and want to work differently with them so so all stuff is removed and here we say control shift s and we need to add a new solver add new solver here and say constraint bonds we will cover this in the next session what we can do with them but at first you want to set up stuff and what we can do now as well is go back to the als mannequin rig go script asset actions and say dump chains and we want to delete them here again and do a right click paste and as you see we will have less chains now so now we can set up twin blast as well quite quickly mm, twin blast i would say as we have power on twin blast folder here and we don't want to go too deep into the folder structure again and again we just create them here and say rigs go into the folder right click and we say animation ik rig and we search for twin blast twin blast say ik twin blast rig save everything and we need to come up with the same settings again so here we add new solver full body ik also the constraint bond solver click on again on this one here and make sure that it's the last one so then it's set up as i said we will cover this in the next session what we can do with it so, so we target root set bone set root bone on selected solver as well and we now add the settings so add them quickly spine 3 and then we cover what the settings were so settings are here is one mm. spine so here is this setting here rotation stiffness rotation stiffness spine 3 rotation stiffness 
So they are using the same settings. Well, almost. Okay. Then we go over to clavicle left side. Right click, add settings to select a bone. Clavicle, that's the zero. 1.0 here, patient stiffness, and the lower arm as well. Lower arm, set settings to select a bone, and we work with those ones here. So, mm, we need to introduce the IK goal. IK goal, right click and say new IK goal, and we also work on the settings, pushing alpha 0. So we go over to, yeah, Twin Blast has a lot of bones. Clavicle on the right side. Add settings to select a bone. We work on those settings. Okay, we already have them. Here's just the one. Yeah, I definitely need to set up a tooling here as well. It's a very annoying task. So, mm, lower arm, new IK goal. And we say also here, oh, no, <laughs> no, no, okay, well, sorry. We need to set, add settings to selected bone. Sorry, I was confused. So here we use, use preferred angles and 90 degrees. And I think this one we did not work on, forgot it. No, we worked on it. So then we have the right hand, there we need an IK goal. IK goal and zero so almost there almost there almost there set left side calf left side Just copy them over the foot, right? Go to the ball and new IK goal and say foot thick right side at settings thick right side. So here preferred angles minus 90 degree. Mm, the calf on the right side, of course. And on the right side, use preferred angles, 90 degrees. And we need to introduce the ball settings or the IK goal for the ball and say foot. So I think here we have the default settings. So everything seems to be there. So let me quickly check. Oh no, please not. <laughs> oh no, please not. Uh, sadly. Did I mess them up now? Hopefully not. Oh no, seems to be fine. So, why is it different here? Ah, that's the solver settings. So check if the solver settings are here. So it seems to be fine. We add the constraint bond solver as well. And save everything. So what we do with the IK rig from Twinblast, we say we want to add the bone chains and to skip the acid actions, add chains from table. And we say my bone chains, the UE4 many. So they are basically the same for Twinblast as well. And as you see, it has changed, but we don't see the result. So, but if we open it up again, you will see you have here the proper chains basically. So I would say for the IK rig setup, we are done and we go over to the next session.